The use of menor recipe is the set of instruction used for preparing and producing a certain food, dish, or drink. The purpose of a recipe is to have a precise record of the ingredients used, the amounts needed, and the way they are combined. I'm going to demonstrate which is the creamy carbonara, so please watch the video. recipe and I already know the volume needed in making the creamy carbonara so now we proceed to organize the ingredients market cost unit cost and its cost so our goal here is to find how much the serving cost so now we are going to start the computation this is the ingredients of making a uh, creamy carbonara Market cost, this is the price of the ingredients. Unit cost that we use in making carbonara. So, we need, I need to find out its cost. So, in solving the cost, there is a formula. So, I have here a formula. Volume needed times price product divided by, by volume product. So, I have here salt. So, the market cost of salt is 10 peso per kilogram and its unit cost is 5 gram. So, now, I'm going to find its volume needed. So, the volume needed is 5 gram times its market cost which is 10 peso. Divide, divide by volume product. So, its volume product is 1000 equals to 0 0.05 so here so this is the result this is the finished table computed amounts for ingredients to be able to know the price per serving I had to add everything here the price per ingredients in this case I ended up in a total amount of 419.31 peso. This is not yet the final amount per serving. I still need to divide it by how many serving this recipe can make. In my recipe, this can make up to 6 servings. So, 419.31 divided by 6 equals... 69.88 Now I'm going to demonstrate on how to make menu planning. The purpose of menu planning is to begin deciding the meal you need and want to eat during the week. By knowing in advance the meals you will prepare and having the ingredients to prepare them. You'll set yourself to make healthy meal choices and avoid poor food choices that can compromise your health. Menu planning is the process of deciding what you will eat for each meal including main dishes, side dishes, and desserts. It also entails knowing how many meals to plan for and what to serve them. 
Daily activities and scheduling variation may complicate the menu planning process. Knowing what types of food can be prepared according to the activities and schedules for a particular day is an important part of meal planning. So meal planning will help you save time and money on the groceries. So let me demonstrate to you on how to make a menu planning. So first step is to make a master list. A meal master list is a list of meals that you and your family enjoy eating. They are the meals that you've cooked before and that you're confident cooking and you're confident your family will eat when you serve them. A simple list of meals that you can refer to is all you need to make menu planning easier. However, if you add a few extra details to your master list, you can make your list work harder for you. Writing up a master meal list is a one-time process. Once you've got your master meal list set up, all you have to do is add any new family favorite meals to your list as you cook them. When it comes to writing your meal plan, just pull out your list to generate ideas of what to put on your plan for the week or for night. Step 2. Grocery Shopping Day Choose your grocery shopping day of a week that you are going to do a grocery shopping like Saturday or Sunday. But if there is a week that just works really well for you, then you can make that your grocery shopping day. Step 3. Check your calendar. Is to take a look at your calendar and see if you have upcoming events or particular activities that you have planned to do. Go out with your family, have dinner in a local restaurant. So, take a look at your schedule, see what's coming up for a week you had so that you can cancel your meal on that day in your house and instead eating your meal with your family or friends. Step 4. Write out your meals. This is an actual meal planning part of where you are actually planning of the meals, even it for the week. Usually do this every Sunday, so you're gonna wrote the master list for the week. Step 5. Make a grocery list. Now, of course, you could take your pared down ingredient list to the grocery store and pick up everything you need without much hassle. But, there's still a better way. Writing over the recipe is a nice double check on ingredients. But, beyond that, rewriting it lets you organize it for easier shopping. Begin by grouping ingredients together by departments in the grocery store. Take it a step further and put those sections in order of how you like to hit the store. Leave the frozen section for the end and swing with the meat department first if you want them to dice up meat for you or separate a package of chicken breast. All things your grocery store butcher certainly can and will do. Step 6. Get cooking. Is to get started cooking with your meals where you have planned out for the week. So what you're gonna do here is to keep your meal plan all of these meals that you are planning in cooking. So, those are the six steps on how to make menu planning. So now, I'm gonna show you an example of menu plan. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Have a great day!